Hey guys and welcome back to our infinite flight video training series. My name is Mark and today we're going to be doing a touch and go in the 747. I had several people send me messages requesting uh, number one on how to do a touch and go uh, but number two how to do it in a 747. Today I'm going to be using uh, the FDS 747-8 uh, just doing a touch and go in the San Francisco on runway 28 right. Uh, I have the weight for today's video uh, set at max landing weight. Uh, so if you wanted to make any adjustments on to your 747 or to your aircraft, uh, but I'm using max landing weight today. Uh, now, when you're flying the approach for a touch and go, you set the aircraft up the same way that you do uh, when you're doing a full stop or landing. Uh, I have for the 747, I've got flaps 30, which is full. Uh, the only difference is that you do not arm the spoilers. Uh, so that way, once my main gear touch down, the spoilers aren't engaged. So that's the, gonna be the only difference between the touch and go uh, and a full stop is that your spoilers are not engaged. Uh, so I'm just flying the approach uh, as normal. Uh, you can see the speeds on the HUD. Uh, you can see the attitude of the aircraft. Uh, as I'm approaching the runway. Um, with any landing, the ideal, uh, the ideal target is that when you cross the threshold, uh, you want to be around 50 feet AGL. 50. So I'm a little bit early 50. on the uh, 50 foot, a little bit 50. lower there toward the uh, end of the 10. approach before touchdown. Uh, but I flare, touch down, and then I gently set the nose gear down. Once you set that gear down, then retract your flaps or raise your flaps back to takeoff setting, which is around 20 degrees, uh, and then throttle back up. And guys, it's important that when you do throttle up for takeoff, you do not slide that throttle all the way up. Um, there's no purpose, no need for a full throttle takeoff. Uh, for the 747, I generally throttle up uh, for heavier weights around 96, 97 percent. And then I just proceed with a normal takeoff, uh, just throttle up until I reach uh, rotation speed. Uh, then I rotate and then take off and enter back into the pattern. I hope this has helped you uh, with any of the questions that you may have for doing touch and goes, uh, especially in the 747. Uh, if you'd like, I can also do one uh, from the advanced server showing it with winds and all of that just uh, message me um, or post in comments below. I hope this has answered some of your questions on how to do a touch and go, especially in the 747. Guys, make sure that you do subscribe for more great tutorials here on YouTube. You can also check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and now you can even follow us on Instagram. Guys, this is Mark. Thanks for taking a few moments to watch.